What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing good. I am just here at the shop checking out the mowers, different equipment, making sure that it is ready for the spring because it is March 14th. If you cannot tell, grass is definitely getting green. So um, I want to just kind of do a quick little update for you guys on my equipment. Last year I had a 36 inch mower that I used to get into people's backyards and that was a it was a snapper pro 36 inch mower uh, walk behind it was an awesome awesome mower uh, if you don't remember it here it is so again I said this was my new addition to the team That mower was a great mower last year. I think I actually filled it up maybe one time. It was so good with gas economy. Um, it was great. The cut quality was great on it. Um, I had no complaints with the mower whatsoever. It started on the first pull, but I kind of did a, I did a thing. The way that I work is uh, when I was younger, I would get a, get a piece of equipment and usually try and get a very, very good deal for that. And so some of you guys who are just starting out in the lawn care, whether you've been doing it for a couple of years now or whether you are 20 years in, this is still good stuff to know. And the way that I started out was to find the equipment that I actually really wanted um, that would make the, the customer's yard look the way I wanted it to look, which again, I love striping yards. So I was always looking for commercial mowers um, and always trying to get the best deal possible. Guys, if you haven't watched my first video, it just goes over getting back into the lawn care industry my first year in um, and buying equipment and how to negotiate. Even though there was nothing wrong with it, over the winter time, I put up the 36 inch Snapper Pro mower for $600. So I paid $400 for it last spring. And so sometimes I'll do that. And what I'll what my intentions are is not to try and just, yep, I, I won another battle battle or I, I won up somebody because typically it's still a really good deal what I'm selling it for. What I'm trying to do is spend less and then when you sell something, make more or make what what it, what the market value is on it so that you can put more money towards your new upgrade or your the new equipment that you're gonna need. That was my intentions. And that's not what happened. I always watch Craigslist. Nobody does that anymore. Um, and I like that because um, I, like, I like the fact that nobody likes Craigslist anymore. It's where I actually grew up getting most of my equipment from. Uh, Facebook Marketplace wasn't a thing. So if you, if you don't already look at Craigslist because there's still people that only post to Craigslist. Marketplace is a little bit more spastic. Um, if somebody pays a little bit more, they can be put to the top and, and you're not seeing like something for sale or right down the street. I mean, that's my experience with, with uh, Facebook Marketplace. With Craigslist, uh, I like it for the fact that it's like up to the minute who posted last. I used to just, just refresh uh, my computer or laptop, whatever I was on to show me the newest thing that was listed. So most likely the newest thing that was listed, I mean, if there was a deal to be had, I think I got a walk behind for $200 one time with a bagger, 36 inch Encore. I remember, I actually, re I remember that mower, 200 bucks because I refreshed and it was right around the corner for me and it would have been gone three minutes later. There's other people that do this as well. So I got on Craigslist one morning and I saw an ad in the farm and garden section for a Toro Proline 16 horsepower mower, 36 inch, for $350 or best offer. And there was no picture with the ad. And I love those, I, I love those ads because I know I know so many people that would say, oh, I hate those, those ads that don't have pictures. Well, a lot of times people aren't home or, or it's in their garage or they just haven't gotten the pictures yet. But the thing is I knew what that was. So I had kind of an advantage. I bought a car that way. Um, where it was actually a really terrible picture taken and you couldn't really tell what it was, but I knew what it was. The Toro 
T-handle, which I've never had before. I'm about to show you guys how it works. Um, electric start, which the battery's dead, so I'm gonna have to jump that for you guys here in a second so you guys can see it run. But I knew exactly what it was, and I knew that it was worth more than 350 or best offer. So let's go, let's go take a look at it. Now, I didn't get it for $350. I got it for $300 because it did say or best offer. I did get a deal on the snapper at the beginning of spring. And so I did make $100 on that in the winter to go ahead and get this for $300. Hey, Sorry for the sun, guys, but you, hopefully you guys can kind of get an idea of what this is. Hey, what's up, girl? I found this in the barn. It's mine now. That's a lot. We might have to clean them. <laughs> so this is it, guys. It's got the Pro-Line 36-inch Toro. And, of course, here is the electric start, which, like I said, the battery is, is dead on it. And here's those T-handle grips. I've never used these grips before. Um, and it just, it was an interesting concept to me. So Snapper Pro, you were an awesome mower. So as for now, the Toro here is going to be the mower that I use when I have to get into people's backyards. And that's the new addition to the team. I've only ran it once and that was to go get it and pull it in here because it was uh, storming out. Um, actually, if you take a look at it, a lot of this down here is just kind of dirt. I don't see like much rust, if any, on this machine. It looks like it's in very, very good condition. Now it's not a Kohler or a Kawasaki, but still it's a 16 horsepower. Briggs and Stratton have been around for a long, long time. So this has probably got about two more horsepower than the, the other mower. And hopefully it, it cuts just as well. All right. Let's see if this thing starts. The guy I got it from. You know, he did let me know that it had a dead battery. Well, not before I got there. For $300, guys, you cannot beat this deal. I'm saying that now. Let's see if she starts up. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and see if this thing fires up. I'm going to go ahead and set this here. It's on positive. It's on negative. Now, I might need to turn that thing on. But just in case, let's go ahead and... cool part is you can leave it in gear as long as you're not pushing down on those it won't move forward it's kind of cool
sorry guys sound like something was uh, the choke was off maybe just a little bit i'm gonna have to uh, just check that um of, of course with these used with these used mowers you get a lot of some some weird things like you know this the choke the choke right here has been kind of pulled up and it's been made to stay in that position guys otherwise isn't that that's it's kind of cool how the like you get to use those these uh well here so what did you what did you guys think have you guys have you guys had the opportunity to use these these kind of the handles before i i thought you know what like to be honest with you i didn't think that they would be as easy to get around things but it's like just about it's the same amount of control it's, it's the same idea guys i won't know I, I would love to cut my first couple yards with it uh, i just need to sharpen the blades get everything ready to go and i think we're good to go guys and i think with this cleaned up it's gonna look like a really brand new mower um not brand brand new but it's still got stickers on it everything still looks great so i'm actually pretty ha happy and satisfied with this purchase and uh let me know uh let me know in the comments what you guys think about these uh, toro pro line uh mowers because i've heard of I've, I've heard about them for a long time i've just never got to run one before so very interesting I think for for 300 bucks can't beat it i had to make that purchase i mean i would have had two walk behinds at that point i had the i had the opportunity to sell the other one so so that worked out perfectly and the 300 dollars one came came along you cannot beat that for 300 dollars, guys so keep in mind it doesn't matter what time of year it is spring winter guys i mean look for those deals be, I mean, be careful about what you're buying. Don't drain your account into something that's trash. Know a little bit about mowers and equipment. <laughs> I appreciate you guys uh, for coming along with me on the journey of my, my new machines here. And um, look forward to two videos. I went, on, I went on an estimate today for some light landscaping work. I recorded our conversation so that we could kind of go over that together and, and see what you guys would charge. What's the industry? Uh, charging for certain things and, and what do you do in case you know you're you're new and, and somebody wants an aeration job done now you got to go rent machinery and all that so we're going to go over, over some of that in, in that video the second video is going to be fun it's going to be door knocking i'm going to try and film as much as i can i want to look pro professional um but i might just hang it kind of i might just hang it around my neck so that you guys can can hear the conversation still um and, and if there is any conversations otherwise if I'm just going to be running with with the cards, I'll, I'll have the camera to where you guys, where you guys can see it. And that those are the two videos I have coming out um, here probably in the next week, week and a half. Guys, it's almost spring. I hope you guys have an awesome season that you guys have awesome clients this year. Um, fast payers, no slow payers. I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on. If you guys have any questions or uh, have any insight to this uh, Toro Pro line, 36 inch or whatever inch you guys had, if you had one. Uh, let me know. I appreciate it.